Okay. Hey, y'all. <laughs> um, I was going to upload a video about a day in the life of me. And I'm going to share some of those clips, but I decided to resist doing it. And here's the reason why. Some of the things that I'm sharing in the video, I realize that it's completely and utterly beyond the norm. And it made me feel, it made me feel uncomfortable because I'm a normal everyday average person who just happens to have the emotional investment in a lot of extraordinary things. And in going back and listening to what I was saying and whatnot, some of the stuff just sounds so damn bizarre that it's my life and I ain't rich. <laughs> <laughs> that it just it it I didn't want anyone to get the wrong financial impression about me. Um and the wrong impression about me in terms of of why things happen the way they do for me. I bust my ass just like anybody else. And um the way I the way I leverage the skills that I do have have allowed me some experiences that just aren't normal. <laughs> So that's the best way to say that. And I'm going to share a little bit with you all. Uh, and I'm going to just keep it short. Because a whole day with me, you're, you're going to be stuck with watching me study. Or struggling to make the food in my kitchen taste like what I actually want to eat. But I don't want to step out of the house to buy more groceries. Um, I live, a, in my eyes, a very simple life but it might not be that way to you all and i never want you to feel like um i never wanted to feel like i'm more than just ashley that's all i am so i'm gonna go ahead and share with you all what i did record before i went back and started listening to stuff for editing and offended myself <laughs> you might not feel that way but this is how i feel and i just wanted to precursor it with that all right enjoy the hodgepodge of a portion of a day with me bye y'all so clearly i'm just waking up um it is 10 7 central time zone no i don't usually sleep this late this is a friday and i'm off from my day job but that does not mean i still don't have 500 responsibilities to all the other things i did and do so i've never taken y'all through a day in the life with me as a teacher and a student and a business owner so I figured I would let you suffer with me now so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, brush my teeth and not make my hair look like this my family is coming uh, a little bit later a very small group because this is still the pandemic but my grandmother has not seen where I live so she wanted to be able to see that so we got some work to do Okay, my uh, hair is brushed back and my teeth are clean. I have on Big Bertha right now. Big Bertha is plugged up to my TV. Yes, it's muted because that's copyright and I'm not trying to pay nobody. But I usually turn on Chill Hop Radio or I'll do like a morning jazz just so I can, um, you know, set the mood for the house. I'd be working by now if this wasn't a, a paid off day. I take my vitamins. This is... <laughs> Centrum multivitamin for women, especially now because we are not outside enough for me to get a lot of vitamin D and things. And then I have these LED lamps where I'm growing, trying to grow chamomile and lavender. And oh, hi there! We got a little sprout that wasn't sprouting yesterday, not that big. Looks like we'll have a seedling there. I think these are mini roses. That's supposed to be a cactus, but as you can see, it's too much dirt for the pot. Um, some of you are familiar with my little K-pop space. Just some of the things that I have, st hello, still have after Hurricane Harvey. Um, I lost a lot of stuff. I had so much more stuff than this, um, but, but I don't now. <laughs> and I have all these little knickknacks my storage and whatnot because i have a massive bookshelf there's patricia if you haven't met patricia patricia is my dog <laughs> i have my uh my sand garden with rose quartz as well as some candles that i'm going to light because i like candles a lot and will be 
showing you more about that. And then this is my workspace. So I live in a studio and everything is well divided. This plant here is going to be tomatoes and uh, cilantro. And it's growing so well. Yes, it is. I don't have uh, names for my plants, plant parents. This is new for me. Usually what takes place is on Fridays, I'm in the office from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. and I'm checking in with my students and whatnot. Uh, I teach adult education, so no more little kitties for the time being. And um, then in the evening, I have stuff I have to do for grad school. I'm in a program with Texas A&M University Commerce Campus, and I'm doing a Master's of Science in Applied Linguistics so far i'm doing good academically but it's kicking my butt and um that pretty much consumes my friday sometimes someone might stop by and bring me some food or something of the sort or uh one of my good girlfriends and her boyfriend a little further down the road they'll come and stop by to see in on me check in on me um but since I don't work today. What I would do on a Saturday, which is clean my place from top to bottom, I'll get started on that today. And then I'll do the uh, the laundry tomorrow. I don't use the washer and dryer that's here on the property and I don't use one of my own. I hand wash, which to some of you might be insanely archaic and overwhelming, but for me, it's, it's twofold. One, I know I'm cleaning it and I'm getting it done at a cost effective, you know, manner. I'm not spending a whole bunch. I'm not wasting a whole bunch of energy. And then secondly, since I have these little plants and I'm trying to learn how to garden, I use the gray water, the water that came from me washing my clothes and whatnot to be able to give all the plants the nourishments that they need. And they're still new and fresh. They still trying. At least the one on the, the desk back there is really doing its thing. I had them in a windowsill, but again, my apartment is cavernous, so it just wasn't enough for it. So these LED lights that I got are really, really helpful. <clears throat> and uh, let's go in the kitchen and see what there is to see in here. Uh, after being in South Korea for the time that I was breakfast is a totally different concept to me it's not as much as i love pancakes and and all of that breakfast is just a matter of getting some food into my system and at this point it's 10 30 in the morning so i'm having brunch and any electronics in my house that i'm not using at the moment are unplugged so i unplug my microwave my tv is usually unplugged i turn off my computers and everything just to try to keep my energy use as low as possible there's Los Angeles back there. One of the many places that I have called home. I have about 12 email accounts because I do different business and things of that sort. Some are strictly for personal reasons, some are for business. So I'm in my multifaceted ACG account and I have a meeting squared away for next Friday consulting on a film. This is legit real stuff that happens. Um, I have a submission to talk during the PodFest Global Summit. I don't know if they're going to pick my submission to be a speaker, but it would be really cool. And since I've been doing pod, well, predominantly podcasting, not as much YouTube content, this would be really, really cool. So PodFest Global Summit is focusing on setting a new world record for the largest virtual podcasting conference ever. And I'd be really excited to talk about some stuff. And uh, I know what I want to talk about, but I don't want to say it here because if I'm not approved, then, you know, I can hold on to that to do it as an event within MACG Productions. Um, getting information that some of the people who I've made donations to through the Giving Megwalas, which is my lending team on kiva.org. Um, some of the people, they were becoming delinquent in their payments, but they're doing the best that they can. And that's what matters. Like we're not sending these small businesses a loan and being a, a shark about it. You didn't pay it back. <laughs> the whole purpose of philanthropy the whole purpose of philanthropy is minimizing yourself so that you can maximize on the greater good of the community. And 
Our lending team is small. If you want to know more about it, you can go in the description of almost any of my videos and the information is in the description usually, but if not, I'll try to make sure for, for certain it's on this video. But the lending team is small, but the efforts are still there. We've helped many, many people in, in different countries uh, sustain themselves. And it's not a, a handout whatsoever. It's a hand up. And that's really important for me to make sure to explain to people when you do things from the kindness and goodness of your heart. First off, nothing is absolutely selfless. It, it just It just isn't. There is a benefit to it somewhere for me, of course, and for others. But in the process of minimizing yourself in that and really focusing on the needs of the greater community, you're like, okay, look, I can easily at this point in my life walk outside and go purchase whatever it is I need, even with the circumstances withstanding. That's not the case for others. How can I help them along the way? No, I'm not going to do it for you. I'm going to give you what you need so that you can do what you need to do for yourself. And that's why I really, really advocate hard for Kiva.org. There are other organizations that I give um, my monies to, and I always give you all a report on that information at the start of every year because you need to know where your dollars are going, and I want y'all to know what I'm doing with what you give me. Um, but yeah, it's it's good to see that even those who were having a hard time making their, their payments back are doing the best they can. And the least we can be is considerate to their financial needs. Um, I didn't mean to get preachy, but this is what happens in my day, y'all. <laughs> These are the things that happen in my day. Uh, what else do we have in here? We got messages from K-pop cast. That's another awesome podcast. They're just sharing some information about some videos that recently released and all of that. That's cool. So this is a, a manageable inbox. That's for certain. It seems overwhelming right now because I'm just looking at it. Oh, it seems like it's so much stuff. <laughs> it seems like it's so much stuff. So we come out of this and we go over to the MacG Productions email account and uh, see what is... Uh, what is popping over here as soon as the internet allows me to be great. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but yeah, y'all just gonna, gonna roll with me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, let's go to the other email, log into that. You know, a less reckless person would not put this candle right here. Let's go ahead and move it. I'm just in love with the smell of it right now. It smells so good. Okay, um, grab my chair. Okay, uh, let's see. We have a few people interested in sponsoring an event. That's a relief. Um, we have a order for more K pop uh KPSN podcast fest tickets. Yay! <laughs> it's really cool. Okay, let me let me go through this stuff and then uh I'm gonna get changed and we gonna clean the house. No we not. No we not. I got music to work on. Uh wait, hold on. Often, such as right now, I'm in the middle of updating spreadsheets or checking emails and whatnot, and then also listening to some of the work on some of my music. Either I started something and I've passed it on for mastering or mixing, or I've started something and I don't necessarily know where I want to go with it. So most recently I've been working on this track. It's three, okay, five <laughs> that I'm really working on because I thought I was going to release an album last month on my uh, production anniversary because I've been doing it for four years now. But instead I released a single. Please go check it out. It's called The Creek. You can find it on streaming. Um, so this one right here, it might not sound really crisp and pristine through the speakers because I don't have monitors and these are slowly going, but uh, we'll see what we can hear. So I do need I do need to hear it. <sighs> so we just gonna bop to this for a second. It's a little different. It's still 
in my pocket though. So I was reaching out to you because my my line is candles, but it's associated with music playlists. Yeah. And I don't know what music smells like. So I was <laughs> not not so much what it smells like. It's just like, okay, think of like think of lo-fi or think of like Ryan Little. Or um, like Sugiwa, if you listen to him and things of that sort. Just something real chill. When you think of that, what smells come to mind? Because you know I think of food, but you might have other thoughts. I immediately thought vanilla, though, but that's only because I like vanilla. Okay, all right, okay. But that's that's fine. So vanilla, like, is it just a regular vanilla? Vanilla, is it, like, spiced or? No, 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 it ain't spiced. It can't be spiced. It can't it's be like spiced. It's like a creamy, rich vanilla. It's, it's real like creamy, that. real rich. Would you would you happen to think of like like I don't I don't know. <laughs> and the candle just be called creamy rich, and then it I can't call it creamy <laughs> rich. <laughs> think like, oh, creamy rich. What's this? And then it smells just like vanilla, and they ain't know it. <laughs> It's bad enough that I'm out here picking the color of the, the base of it. And when I was explaining it, I was saying it's Tawny Brown. But my brain was laughing because I was going back to that teddy bear I had named Tawny Brooks. So. <laughs> okay, so vanilla. Okay, I clicked vanilla because they, they have to send me some samples. So there's more than one vanilla. You said just vanilla, but they have vanilla bourbon. They have vanilla orchid. I think that vanilla bourbon, though. Yeah, that vanilla bourbon. Yeah. So you said it, I was like, yeah, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like vanilla bourbon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they got whipped butter, and I felt like that spoke to you on a spiritual level. <laughs> that, that touched my soul just now. Whipped butter. Whipped butter. Whipped butter. <laughs> <laughs> 